In this exercise, we will calculate the LCM of two numbers. So what is LCM? LCM is the least common multiple. That is a number that is divided by both 6 and 8 and it is a smallest number that is divided by both 6 and 8. So of course 6 and 8 can divide many bigger, bigger numbers like that. It can be 3 digits, 4 digits. But we need to find the smallest number that is divisible by both 6 and 8. So that is called LCM. Now there is a formula that is a into b is equals to the greatest common divisor of a comma b and the lowest common multiple of a comma b so this is what we will be using so if we use this what does lcm becomes lcm becomes lcm becomes gcd sorry product of a and b divided by gcd of a and b right so we will use this now in the previous exercise we calculated gcd but in this one we will calculate gcd using the math function because it's definitely easier so let's import math first let's create our function calculate lcm and pass two numbers to it and first what is gcd gcd becomes math dot tcd gcd of a comma b so now we have gcd right so what does lcm become lcm becomes as you can see here it becomes a multiplied by b divided by g c d this is it now we have our lcm now we return lcm and let's say if a equals to 12 and b equals to 42 let's see what the lcm is equals to A comma B. Let's print it. Again, I like F string so much. I have been pointing it out in every exercise. So A, B, and LCM will be replaced from actual values when we run this. So let's run this. as you can see it is saying lcm of 12,42 is 84.0 now 84.0 is a decimal how do we remove this part so instead of just dividing it we can do this that is absolute division so it will remove out all the percentage and it will throw the result to the latest integer lowest integer value that is 84 so it will remove this thing it will not round it will floor let's run this again now also there is an additional task so stick around I'll tell you how to do this so the LCM of 12 and 42 is 84 now we know how to calculate LCM now additional task wants you to take user input right so do some changes and take the user input that is a comma B so ask the user enter your first input here and then ask enter your second number here and then calculate LCM of those two numbers try it and if you have any problems let me know in the comments below